Helen Keller's life story is an inspiring tale of resilience, determination, and triumph over seemingly insurmountable odds. Despite her limitations, she displayed an unshakable desire to learn and communicate. Helen Adams Keller was born on June 27, 1880, in Tuscumbia, Alabama, USA. She was a healthy and happy baby until the age of 19 months, when a severe illness, most likely scarlet fever or meningitis, left her both deaf and blind. Her world plunged into darkness and silence, and she became isolated from the world around her. In 1887, Helen Keller found hope when in Sullivan, a dedicated teacher who understood the challenges of vision impairment, entered her life and used a special method to teach Helen how to communicate. She spelled words onto Helen's hand, helping her understand the link between words and the things they represent. This was a crucial turning point in Helen's life as it allowed her to connect with the world around her despite her visual limitations. The turning point came in 1888, when Helen Keller experienced her first breakthrough. While and held her hand under running water, she spelled out the word water on Helen's palm. It was a eureka moment, as Helen finally understood that everything had a name and she could communicate with the world. Under Anne's guidance, Helen learned to read Braille, write, and even speak. She attended schools for the blind and deaf and eventually graduated cum laude from Radcliffe College in 1904, becoming the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. Throughout her life, she advocated for the rights of people with disabilities and worked to improve education and opportunities for them. Helen Keller became a prolific writer and author, publishing books, articles, and essays. Her autobiography, The Story of My Life, is widely read and remains an inspirational work. She also engaged in social and political activism, advocating for women's suffrage, workers' rights, and disability rights. Helen's remarkable story and advocacy efforts brought her international fame. She traveled extensively, giving lectures and speeches to raise awareness about disabilities and promote social change. Helen Keller's achievements and contributions continued into her later years. She was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1964 and received honorary doctoral degrees from universities around the world. Helen Keller passed away on June 1, 1968, at the age of 87 in Easton, Connecticut. Her legacy endures through the Helen Keller Foundation for Research and Education, which continues her work in support of people with disabilities. Helen Keller's life is a testament to the power of determination, education, and the human spirit. Her story continues to inspire and remind us that, regardless of challenges, individuals can achieve greatness and make a lasting impact on the world.